Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We've done quite a few functional equations and this one is similar to one of the equations that we've done recently. Anyways, let me not give you any more at this point. Maybe some of you already guessed uh, the method here or you already know, maybe you're already familiar. Now, we have f of xy and that is equal to f of x times f of y divided by the sum f of x plus f of y. So the left hand side kind of looks familiar because it's the product and if the right hand side, if we didn't have any denominators here and that would be something easy to solve because obviously that would be f of x equals uh, k times or not k times but just x to the power n, x to the power something, right? That would satisfy us. Think about it like x squared would satisfy this, x to the third power, x to the power something else. Or, or if we had the denominator in the numerator and there was no denominator, then it would be the log function, right? So, but it's kind of like a combination, but that should give you some clue. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip both sides, and flipping both sides, obviously, is a good thing to do sometimes, especially when you have something like this. And let me tell you the motivation behind the flipping. Why am I flipping? Why am I not trying to break it down in a different way? Because it's kind of like unbreakable this way. I have a sum in the denominator, which is not good. You don't want to have a sum or a difference. You want to have a product at the bottom. Make sense? Hopefully that helps. So we're going to flip both sides and then separate the right-hand side into two fractions, and then we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and do it. So when we flip both sides, we're basically writing it as 1 over something. But notice that uh, we may have to make sure that uh, nothing makes this undefined. So under those conditions... I'm going to write this as 1 over f of xy equals, if you take the reciprocal, it's going to be f of x plus f of y divided by f of x times f of y. Awesome. So now we, I said that we're going to separate the stuff on the right-hand side. So here's how we can do it. I can just write this as f of x over f of x f of y kind of like unadding two fractions. You know how we add fractions with the same denominator. We can also unadd those fractions. It's not subtraction, it is unadding. So next step would be to simplify this under, again, certain conditions like f of x should not be zero, so on and so forth. We can cancel these out and we can cancel these out and we end up with something nice. Well, not yet, but it's going to be, it's going to get better. So allow me to write the x first because it's kind of like OCD, 1 over f of x plus f 1 over f of y. Okay, so why is this equation a good thing? It is a good thing because we know how to solve f of xy equals f of x plus f of y. Well, it's not quite the same, but it's just reciprocals. Great. So that reciprocal should give you an idea because wouldn't that be awesome if you could turn this, turn this thing, into like a function like f of x, not 1 over something, but just like the function itself, right? Okay, great. And we can do it by calling that something else. How about calling 1 over f of x g of x? Yes, that'll do the trick. And in that case, uh, this will be g of y. And this guy over here will be g of xy, because if g of x is defined as 1 over f of x, under certain conditions again, then if you replace x with xy in g of x, then you will do the same thing in f of x, and then you'll get 1 over f of xy, which is g of xy. Make sense? Hopefully, it's just substitution. And sometimes folks have a hard time understanding how come you can change the x around. You can change the variables, like I can replace x with x plus 1. Obviously, in that case, x does not equal x plus 1. Do you know when x equals x plus 1? Never. It's never going to happen, but it's just a replacement. Great. So in this case, I have an awesome, awesome result because g of xy equals g of x plus g of y. And yay, that's awesome because that's Cauchy's functional equation. Obviously, we have to say like, f of x is con continuous, blah, 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 so on and so forth. You know, all that details. But anyways, you hopefully know how to solve this. And I think we recently looked at the... The version where f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y, but that can be uh, turned into this one as well. But anyways, to keep a long story short, and I know I talk too much, uh, this function can be written as k times log of x, right? And in this case, it could also be ln. I mean, you don't have to use, by the way, it doesn't matter which base you use, you know what? Because k times ln x can be turned into another log. 
because k is arbitrary constant and by using a constant you can change the base. Anyways, that's another story. Uh, this works because if you evaluate, uh, if you add k ln x plus k ln y, you're going to get k times ln x plus ln y, which can be written as k times ln x, y. Uh, of course, under certain conditions, x has to be positive, y has to be positive, so on and so forth, all those details. Great. Now, so since we got this for g of x, we can just go ahead and back substitute. Remember what we said about g of x? g of x was something that we came up with, right? So g of x was 1 over f of x, but we find g of x to be k ln x. Therefore, from here, we can solve for f of x, right? Isn't that awesome? Substitution is just awesome, simply awesome. So we can write this as 1 over k ln x, but 1 over k ln x can be written as 1 over k over ln x, you know, mathematicians like to change constants over and over. And I'm not a mathematician, by the way. I'm not saying that I'm a mathematician. But anyways, that's another story. 1 over k is another constant. And I can call that c, if you allow me to. f of x then can be written as c over ln x. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.